Hi, Peter. Is it been a hard day's night? And a hard, hard day's working day? Eh? You came in earlier. I had to redo this video because of my dog. Because he's an absolute pain in the ass when it comes to the next door neighbour's dog coming out, who's a lovely dog. And he just goes mental. And I put a little fence underneath the hedge to stop him from going underneath but every time he crashes through it and bends it in half and goes nose to nose with the other dog it just goes mental so and I, I was halfway through filming when I realized it was still recording and obviously recording that commotion so I've had to delete that I start again so we missed all you getting all excited, jumping in the seed, in the seed bucket, making an absolute mess of mummy's garden, because he does. It's a bit like a child eating spaghetti bolognese or a chocolate pudding. He gets it everywhere. Don't you be there? Hey. But yeah, he seems to be on time every day between five and half five. He must have a watch. He must have a watch, this bird. I mean, how does he know it's that time every day? It's so fascinating. Anyway, I hope you like watching daily updates of uh, my little rescue, Peter. Yep, yeah, he's about 10 weeks old now. Um, as you can see, he's still quite young. He's still got some training to do, like his beak. His beak will just be eventually all yellow and he'll be sharper. We just gave him some nuts. I spent an absolute fortune on on food, just get some more food. We're trying with the knot and he couldn't quite get his beak through the knot so we had to crush it up for him to have a little try. Yeah. But as you can see, he's shattered. My little baby Peter is shattered. So am I. Yes. So am I. I'm tired too. Eh? Oh, I'm going to leave him in peace because no doubt he'll uh, be flying off again. Wouldn't ya? Say bye to everyone, Peter. Say bye. Bye, everyone. Oh, yeah, this is me. I'll just uh, say hello myself. Not the best. Uh, I'm not very good at filming myself, especially when I'm not old, old up with makeup and stuff. And I've uh, been in the garden, so looking a bit rough. But I thought I'll say hello. Um, and. I just thought it'd be nice just to sort of video um it's just the progress really of, of like of what i've done when i first collected peter from someone's garden um if you look at some of the old videos even though i actually did upload all the videos the other day you'll see on when he was a baby and uh i've really enjoyed it and if i could get hold of any other birds that obviously not hurt because if they hurt they'd have to go to some sanctuary but peter wasn't hurt um but syringe fed him four times a day with water and kept him in a in a cage for the first week and then I, he was in the rabbit run until about probably about a week ago um and then he refused to go in stayed out for the night and then i thought right that's it that rabbit run might as well go back to the bunnies because the bunnies had two runs made into one big run so now they've got the run back and uh oh peter yeah oh what's that then what's that oh turkey man are you heard? yeah he's doing really well so just have to see whether you do hang around i mean eventually you will find yourself a li little lady and have your own babies won't you hey but if I haven't seen him, doesn't if he doesn't come back around about the same time, I do panic. Because I've never done this before. It's the first time I've done it. So, I'm, um, yeah. So I keep on doing it. And I've rescued other animals, rescued tortoises and a turtle and hedgehog and things. And then um, we've had them for a sort of fair few years. And then when it's got to the t time for they've got too big or they need bigger space for them we've, we've, we've found them forever homes in zoos or uh, life sanctuaries so but there's these few that we have kept don't we 
Yes. Because I can only do so much. Because I'm not well myself. I have a lot of health problems. Um, and I suffer pain seriously every day. Um, and chronic fatigue and I've had type, type, type 1 diabetes most of my life which has actually killed off a lot of nerves and my eyesight's not very good and if I sound like I'm out of breath or, or if I struggle with my wording that's because of my conditions so this garden that I've recently um, I've recently moved into a flat and got this massive front and back garden and it's been my sanctuary really I just wish the weather could be nice every day because when it comes to winter I suffer a lot and uh, my depression and anxiety gets worse but doing what I'm doing with these like with Peter is, is really helping um, with all my animals they really do a lot to help me so yeah this is why I um, decided to do it because I've always been an animal lover ever since I was a child I was named Noah my nickname at school for obvious reasons because I was always bringing on different animals. My poor dad used to be like, Oh my god, what you brought on next? Some funny stories that we could have speak about with my dad. Unfortunately, my dad passed away sort of three, three and a half years ago, so he's no longer with us. Bless him, miss him to bits. But, um, but yeah, I actually prefer my animals to a lot of human beings, to be honest. Um, and this little guy, he, he always makes me laugh, he always makes me smile. Anyway, gonna go on. Don't want to bore you off too long, because um, you know he's not actually doing very much. He's just chilling. So yeah, to the next video.